What is up guys, welcome back to the anime channel. Today will be a review, first impressions of Interview with Monster Girls. Now, I thought I've seen everything. Wait, 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 let me take that back because there's also another anime that's called Monster Masume. Now, these two shows are very similar, but there's one key difference. And that is, these girls are not fucking monsters with fucking half animal forms, alright? Whoever has seen Monster Masume, you guys need fucking help. I don't know why you would watch that show. I do not know why you would even consider watching that show. I just saw the front cover of the poster, you know, what's on my anime list. And I was like, no, get that shit away from me. That show is for the pervious of the perverts out there, man. That show is for people that have seen every single ecchi show out there. And they got so bored, or you know, they like that shit, I have no fucking idea, that they had to watch that. So, if you watch that, again, man, you guys need fucking help. So, that show is similar to this show, but like I said, that's the key difference. Which makes a big fucking difference. This show is very lighthearted. The designs is so fucking basic, but for people that love cute things, they would love this show. Because every single girl is, like, adorable, they're cute. Um... I don't really see myself indulging myself into this series so fucking much that I actually finish it. I might watch maybe one more episode to see where it goes because I don't like the fact that maybe these little girls will actually fall in love with the the main character, the teacher, because there's a huge age gap. He looks like he's actually like, you know, like 35 or something. So I don't really like where this is heading because I feel like maybe the, the headless girl might actually fall in love with him. And there might be some fan service, some edginess involving him with the little girl. So I'm just like, oh my god, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. But again, it might take a different route because also there's another sensei who's also a demi-human. If Hikari heard me say that, she'd probably slap me. But let me take that back. I mean, demi, demi. She she prefers to be called a demi. So she's also a demi, the sensei that transfers into the, this new school. Her name is Psyche. Saki. And she's obviously going to fall in love with the MC. It's going to fucking happen. <laughs> you know, you can fucking tell right now. She's kind of backing away a little bit because she's a succubus. She doesn't want to feel like any any sexual tendencies. So she's staying away from everybody. And it's going to fucking happen. They're going to pair up. But also, I see the headless girl kind of having a little crush on the teacher. So who knows, man? I, you know, I heard how Usagi Drop ended. And the ending is fucking horrible. So, you know, who knows? That might actually happen in this series, too. So, I do not know if I will continue this. But for people that like this different aspect of a high school romance anime with a different kind of premise, I think this will be the show for you. If you watched Monster Masume, God help you, you will probably like this show. Because this show is like that, but much more tolerable. Much more humane <laughs> you guys understand me all right that is pretty much the show man all he wants to do the mc is talk to demis and get to know them that's all this show's about there's gonna be some romance there's gonna be a little bit of comedy there's gonna be a lot of stories involving the monster girls on how they have to adjust their life to society and all the trouble that they go through every single day so there's gonna be a lot of heartfelt stories involved in this series too i could already tell we see that the headless girl, you know, she's always kind of like, she seems down a little bit because she she feels like no one understands what she's really going through until Hikari shows up. And, you know, I like Hikari as a character because she's just open. She's out there. You know, she doesn't give a fuck what people think. And she just says what's on her mind instantly. It must suck having to carry your head around all the fucking time. So she just specifically says that to her face while everyone else is kind of avoiding the fact that she's headless. You get me? So I like that about her character. And you could already tell there's going to be a lot of heartfelt stories involving every single character in their own specific arc. And it's going to be the MC, Takahashi, helping them through, counseling them, and helping them adjust to their everyday life. So, if you like anything like that, go ahead and give it a shot. I'm not going to judge you, but if it's Monster Masume, I would fucking judge you. And I would say, go get help. But this, this series is not like that. It's much more lighthearted, much more... It has a fuzzy feeling to it, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Yeah, they could have taken any chance, man. 
to give us panty shots, to give us a sexual scene involving the teacher, but they didn't. They didn't. The only sexual scene they, that we actually got was when Hikari, the vampire, she kind of like sneaked up behind the teacher, tried biting him, but she didn't really bite him. He just she just used like two pencils to pretend to bite him. But that's her nature. She's playful like that. So it wasn't even nowhere near edgy at all. So I like that about the series. They could have taken any opportunity to give us something erotic, but they didn't. So I could appreciate that. And the only erotic scene I want to see is with the sensei and the succubus because their age gap is not big. So if it's with the little girls, no. If it is, I'm just going to drop this instantly. But for right now, it's doing good. It's doing good. So yeah, give it a shot. And yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I enjoyed it. I did. So leave me your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about this first episode? Who is your favorite monster girl so far? The Succubus, Saki, the Snow Girl, Yuki, the Vampire, who is my favorite girl right now, Hikari, or the Headless Girl, uh, I forgot her name, Koyoku. Yeah, who's your favorite? Let me know down below, because I got to go. See you on our next video, guys. Sayonara.